Hi there, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Todd Waits, and while ever since I was a little kid, ever since I can remember, I've really had only one dream that I wanted to chase, and that was to be a keyboard player. Okay, not just a keyboard player, but a rock star. So as you may have noticed by now, there might have been a slight hiccup, we'll call it, along the way. When I was 14, I, I threw a football, my arm broke, and on the x-rays it showed that I had very, very serious bone cancer. My arm was amputated right away, and I had a serious decision to make, and that was, do I still want to pursue this crazy dream of being a, a rock star keyboard player now with one hand? And I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun being a one-handed keyboardist. Ham, 100% <laughs> great A over there. Although, admittedly, there have been some challenging times in my life, times where I've doubted myself, etc., I really pursued this dream with, with a lot of passion. And I'm so honored. I, I got to do some very, very cool things. I uh, have toured all over the world as a keyboard player in different bands, have hung out with very famous rock stars, have been on TV, have recorded CDs, live DVDs, radio, uh, etc. All of the things that a lot of people would consider rock star. But I learned something really valuable while out on the road. You know, you meet so many neat people out there. And um, I started noticing that wow, people had some really, really inspiring stories for me. And some of the stories actually are, were quite sad. Folks that just felt like they didn't matter, that they couldn't achieve anything, whether they've been told they're not good enough or, or they just feel that way. A lot of kids talk about being bullied at school, just so many things. And I realized that a real rock star would be somebody that would, would help to make somebody's life better. And that's what I wanted to do. So I, I left the band scene behind. I now travel around with a keyboard. I, I've been to Honduras to encourage kids in just poverty situations all the way through kids of celebrities, uh, of very well-known celebrities, and everything in between. I do a lot of schools, a lot of events, festivals, churches, etc. And talk about a, a wide variety of things, depending on age group. I get to speak to little kids. Together. And I was thinking, well, what song can we sing that I think everybody here knows? Oh, if you're happy and you know it, clap. I get to speak to older kids and adults. All right, so junior high, middle school, great opportunities, right? New people could sign up for sports can do all of these different things. And I, you know, let's be real. I know the first, you know, I know the first thing you noticed when you looked at me. It wasn't the arm, it was the fact that I am so muscular that there's, there's no way that they let me play sports. It just wouldn't be fair to the other kids, right? I mean, but I did what all of the tough, long-haired, buff, cool guys did. I played keyboards for the show choir. And I don't know what oh, it is yeah. about guitarists, but when they put on a guitar, man, they just look different and cool. Tony, you know, straps on his guitar. All of a sudden, like, we're not outside, there's no fan, but his hair is blowing. 
and there's like red light coming down, and he's just standing, the fog rolls in, and he's, he's just cool. And I'm, and I'm this like 13-year-old kid, about to turn 14, and I had never seen anybody play professionally. I've heard people on the radio, I saw people on TV, I go, you must have to be famous to sound like a rock guitarist. You must have to be a famous guy. Well, Tony, man, he plugs in his guitar, he takes the stance, and he's like... <laughs> I was like, oh, you could do that? If you could do that, I could and do that. So we went through the, I went through the surgery. And man, the next day, I wake up, and I all of a sudden had one arm. Which you would think would be a drastic difference, right? A lot of things go through your head. Oh, man, you know, Susie in math class, she has those two pigtails. I like to pull them both at once, and I don't know if I could do that. And... Can I still dance Gungam style? You know, I like the important things. <laughs> but I was still the same, man. I got to tell you, I still was the same person. Now, I, same I talk dream. about being different. Guys, I know that we all have different talents. We all have different gifts. We've all faced different obstacles. I just kept trying and trying and trying and trying and playing and playing and we starting from and learning scratch. And learning. Just like I had to start from scratch, just putting toothpaste on a toothbrush without it falling over. Because I had to brush my teeth, and I did today. I don't know why you guys are so far so back. so much but separation. And I equate it to music. If every single key on that keyboard had the same exact note, if every song had one note, the same note, if every song had just one instrument, the same instrument, music would be pretty boring. But I put together this song that illustrates the fact that, hey, the church organist can get along with the heavy metal guitarist, and that heavy metal guitarist can get along with the banjo player. And so this song goes through some twists and turns that, that show that it can all work together. I would love to come speak and play at your event. Please contact me. Uh, information will be scrolling here shortly, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks so much.